Hi, this is Kirk O'Connor and in today's video tutorial what we're going to show you to do is we're going to show you how to use Genesis Frameworks um, standard ways to set your on-page SEO type items such as the meta title and the meta description. So what we're trying to achieve here is we're trying to achieve some information that can be used not only by Google but by people trying to find a site in your particular niche and information that will help them to number one find that site and number two to think that that is a link they would want to click on. Here we see a um, a search for Google as it happens and you can see up the top here where we have Google um, that is the page title for google.com.au come down a bit here and we have Google Wikipedia the free encyclopedia that is the page title so that link there and under that we have what's called the the meta description and you can see there this particular site, google.com.au, the meta description is offers the choice of searching the whole web or web pages from Australia, also advanced search, image and group search, news and directory. Um, so a very good description there of what you would find if you went to google.com.au. And that's, with the description, that's what we're trying to achieve. So we're going to jump in now to our test site. This is our test site that we've been playing around with in other videos. We've already logged into the dashboard. So we have a number of pages and posts within WordPress, plus we have on many sites, we have a custom homepage. So the pages and posts are set up in a particular way. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a page just to show you. So we're going to go to our list of pages here in WordPress. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a page. Um, let's go to the blog page. And we're going to set up our SEO information here. So if we come here, we see a custom document title. This is the title that we saw, remember, on our original. This is the title that we're going to see for the page here. So let's jump back into admin. So we're going to type in a title for our page. Okay, our site is about WordPress and what we've put there is awesome WordPress blog posts. So what you would do with a title is if you have a particular uh, keyword or keyword phrase that you want for this particular page, you would look to putting that keyword phrase into the title, if, into the page title, if it, if it makes sense, of course. Um, meta titles, as they're called, should really be less than 70 characters in length, or otherwise Google will truncate them. So you might miss the, um, the importance of the title. Also, if you are going to include keywords, you should probably put those towards the, uh, the front of the title. So there's our title. The next thing we come down to is the meta description here underneath. Now, a meta description really should be readable content. It's really our advertising for our site. If we come back here to our Google listing and we see up the top, offers the choice of searching the whole web or web pages, yada 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 so basically what that's doing is telling us what exactly that page of that site does so what we'll do is we'll go back Okay, so there we have a meta description. Your meta description should be roughly 155 characters. If you put too much in, then once again, Google will truncate that and you might lose important information. So keep it down to 155, under 160. 
Another important thing you should do is not include special characters because if you put special characters, something like, let's say, inverted commas, what you'll find is Google's browser will see that and will see that as a special character and will truncate your content from there. So the rest of that content you might never see. So never include special characters if you can possibly get away with it, such as inverted comment, commas or hyphens or whatever. Now the next one down that you might ask about is meta keywords. Um, most SEO people will tell you these days that there really is no value in adding meta keywords um, to this at all. Um, the word would be that Google would not look at meta keywords. You can add them if you want. It's, it's really up to you. Um, it, it's your call at the end of the day, but I would imagine that most SEO people would say that, that it's not necessary to add those. So basically for a page or a post, pretty much we've, um, we've done that now. We've, we've added what we need to do, so all we need to do is to update our page and we have now added the information. The home page is a different scenario. The home page, sometimes if you use a home page that is a standard WordPress page, you would of course do the same as we've done here for your meta, um, meta title and meta description. However, in many cases the home, word, the home page sorry, is a special case and what you need to do to be able to set those SEO settings for the home page in Genesis is to go up to the Genesis menu here and where it says SEO settings. If we click on that, you will see here we have our SEO settings for Genesis. So there we have our home page settings, our site title, our site description, and um, what we would like wrapped in H1 tags. H1 tags are very, very important, so we really want our site title wrapped in H1 tags. So what we're going to do, sorry, We're going to be very much to the point about our site and we're going to use our keywords of WordPress website development here. So on this next line, this is our meta description. Same lengths, of course, this is precisely the same as we did for our page. There we have a meta description. Okay, so basically that is all we have to do pretty much in setting this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to save those settings. And if you go through every page and every post uh, as you add them to the site, we can see once again if we go to a post, once again there's our theme settings. Um, you can add those um, theme SEO settings to posts. So what we can do then is we can very, very quickly and very easily add our meta title and meta description for our post pages and for our home page. Now for some additional reading, if you want to have a look a little bit more about our title tag, um, you can go to this page here in SEO Moz, which will give you a little bit more understanding of what you should be doing for this particular tag and for meta description, this page here will also give you an excellent description of what you should be setting um, for the meta description tag. This has been uh, Kirk O'Connor. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. We have many more um, to help you. I hope that you check out a few more and um, we'll catch you next time.